Hello, Pastor Billy here. Welcome to Three Quick Minutes and this 21 Days of Acts 429 uh, Prayer Devotional. This is about being bold in our witness. It's about seeking God's face, that's seeking His presence, that's seeking Him for who He is, but also sharing His grace, sharing what He has given to us. And today, the what we've talked about or what you're reading about in Day 8 is belief. What does it really mean to believe? John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. Whoever believes in, believes in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. And in the same, in the same Bible, in, in the book of James, it says, you believe, in, you believe God is one and you do well. Even the demons believe. And so if we believe in him, we can have eternal life, but yet the demons believe and they won't have eternal life. What what is the difference? What does it really mean to believe? Is it only is it only having some intellectual belief? And so I'm not going to go over what it says in day eight. I want to encourage you to to read that for yourself. I just want to add something to it. Belief uh, is always accompanied by repentance. You'll read that on day eight. But belief is not merely believing that Jesus died for the world. Belief is believing that he died for you. That I believe he died for me. Not just that he wanted to save the world, and he did, but he wanted to save me as an individual. He wants to save you. And so so we have been called to believe, to give everything over, to delight in the fact and embrace the fact that and make Christ our greatest treasure. Have you believed in him? Have you made Christ? Is Christ your greatest treasure? That's one of the signs of true belief. Let me lead us in prayer. Father, we exalt you and we praise you, Lord Jesus. We treasure you because you are loving. We treasure you because you spoke the truth. We treasure you because you gave everything for us. Father, give us a greater burden for the lost. God, give us a greater burden for those who are far from you. God, would you help us to be bold in our witness and to talk to others as we, as we just recognize the grace that you've shown us and help us to be gracious towards others. We just want to fulfill the purpose you've given us, Lord. You've called us to. We love you, Lord Jesus, because you first loved us. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Remember, be strong in the Lord today and in the power of His might. See you tomorrow.